Okay, so this is a diagnostic plug where you're gonna hook up the TD adapter to. Usually it comes with a white plug. We already pulled that off. Okay, you're gonna connect this end, like so. And then this is the TD adapter itself. Plug it in. Okay, and I have double-sided Velcro here to hold it in place. And that's all you need. Now you're ready to connect the Bluetooth connection to your iPad or your iPhone or Android phone. So you'll open up your Gap Flasher program and connect to the tool. And then you see we're connected to the Yamaha uh, computer. Uh, we can check the faults, live value. Um, and in this case, uh, we'll just do the ECU flash, okay? So I already have a list of flashes on this particular computer, but normally you won't have any flashes. You'll, you'll have to go ECU info, scan it. That information has got to be sent to us, okay? So you see the serial number, VIN number, and then you click on that little icon to uh, email. It could be like a little email sign on the Android phone, okay? And you send it to sales at turbodynamics.ca. Okay? And send. But you can edit uh, and say what you need in there. So, for example, you'll say power trail. Okay? So, power trail. And, and then you send. So, we know what you want for this particular, particular machine is a power trail EC reflash. And you, you click send. Once we have that, that means that we're ready to uh, update your cable with the PowerTrail program. So now you're going to plug your uh, TD flash adapter to the USB port of your computer. So once I've sent the PowerTrail on the server, you're going to need to update your cable and load the files in your cable. So in this case, I already have some programs uh, for it. So you're going to click Find Device. Okay, and program flash file only. Then it's going to load all the files that I uploaded for this cable. There's up to 10 files per cable. Okay, so that is done. And now we're ready to flash the computer on the sled. So you unplug the USB cable. Reconnect your TD adapter uh, to the machine. Now that it's all loaded with the TD flashes um, on your uh, iPad or iPhone. And you're going to put the key on, not start a sled, just key on and connect. And then ECU flash, you choose the one you want. In this case, I'll put the max cold air intake on. And it's going to flash. It takes about 38 seconds. Okay, now we're going to show you the live data. Um, when you want to check a machine, see how it runs. Live values. Select live values. O2, no O2. We don't have it on this one yet. Okay, so here are the live values. Machines are running right now. Okay, you can expand this to full size. So on your phone, even on your phone, you'll be able to read it well. Um, you buy yourself like a phone holder so you can uh, check the machine. So we'll just uh, start it. So if you bought the data logger option, you'll, you'll be able to check the logs. Okay, so you see quickly. Okay. No, we didn't do much, but um, yeah. So normally you can go check your log like this or zoom it in and uh, yeah. 
you can customize what you're looking at uh, as far as the sensors go.